Friday, about five o'clock, is it? It is. Probably. Time. And it's uh, beer and gear time. Beer o'clock review, as some people like to call it. Oh, that's what we like we, to call we it. We call it. it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Beer. So we start with beer and we talk about some gear. Yeah. First of all, the beer, we have got a new one sent to us courtesy of the Garage Project. Mm. Love you guys. We got a turbine pale ale. It's not bad, is it, bro? It's not bad at all. Tell us about it. it. Citrusy. Yep. It's nice. very good on tasting notes, are Dan. <laughs> Citrusy. Citrusy. I saw the ads on TV. It's powered by wind. Exactly. Wellington wind. Well, it's pretty windy up there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, for it sure. It makes sense, as it says on the label. Yeah. It's a good beer. Huh? Yeah. Anyhow, yeah, on to the gear. Because yeah. you can never have enough rucksacks in your life. Or backpacks. Or travelling bags. Depends where you come from in the yeah. world. Eh? <laughs> um, we have brought Deuter into the store. Deuter. Deuter. German brand. Uh, really good packs. We've got ladies. These are ladies. And we've got full range of men's. And men's. Dan himself is going to run you through some of the features of these fine packs. Okay. Lots of oh, just about for a second. Lots of different uh, capacities going on, but I'll just look at the features on two of them. They've got air contact and air contact light. Um, features do change accordingly, though. So, obviously, heavy duty materials and a lighter pack. But if we just look at air contact first. Usual features you'd expect, places to put your poles or, or uh, ice axe, that sort of thing. Um, nice, foam, comfortable uh, harness is what this is all about. And it's adjustable as well. So you've got uh, hip pads that, that flex and move. Mm. You've got foam in there that's uh, hollow core foam. So when you squeeze it, it's pumping out you know, some air through there. It gets this sweat away. Um, and then you also have the ability to um, shift the, the harness up or down. So if you're taller or shorter, you can move it accordingly. So that's as simple as undoing that Velcro tab there. And then you've got this ladder in the back, and you can move that up or down, and that's easy to do. If you're shorter like me, you can also even undo the, the load straps and shift them down a level. All right, so on the front, um, you've got the the hood of course like normal top entry loading system but you've got on the front of the pack the ability to get into the middle also so if you forgot that you were, it was going to rain and you've got your jacket stuffed in there you can easily get in there to the to the middle of the pack and get access so you got top middle and bottom access and at the very bottom then you've got a sleeping compartment as well so you've got your sleeping bag compartment there and you can unzip the central compartment and make it all one big thing or you can keep that division in, in, the, in the center there. Uh, tucked on the bottom there, just a little extra, you got your rain cover mm. built in, so that's pretty cool, nice feature. Um, what else? Pockets in the hip belt, stretch pockets on the side, a little pocket at the top. So overall, just like a nice, heavy-duty, traditional pack, comfortable to use, um, and tough material, as you can see the zip on that, nice heavy-duty gauge zipper. All right, and then if we compare that to the Air Contact Light, it, I, it is kind of the same, but not. It's lighter materials, but one of the big differences, you don't have that entry um, panel at the back there. They replace it with, a big stretchy pocket there so you can throw a jacket in there but you still have sleeping bag access at the bottom top entry access there and then again all the other features you'd expect now the back system is different so you you lose that flexibility that movement on the fins mm -hmm. that this pack has mm -hmm. and you can see how that really does flex yeah in that stationary you still have the adjustability though so you can fit this pack to most people pretty easily and then um, just a little bit less padding. So you've got a different different setup for, for that. But there you have it. So that's the air contact and air contact light. And then lots of different sizes. These are the 65 plus 10, the 40 plus 10, 50 plus 10, 55 plus 10. And then like Rocky said earlier, all the ladies models as well, because they're shorter torso, so they're different sizes. So shorter torso, slightly different sizes for the ladies models. But if you've got the same, same ones. Overall, yeah. yeah, you've got the same same concept, air contact lights versus air contacts. So we're looking at the same features. Same features. Fantastic. Yeah. Great.
Thank you. Check them out.